My name is Zachary McNaughton, and I am not a professional angler. I've been fishing for over 20 years, and the one thing that these years have taught me most is that I have a lot to learn. So let's meet some of Vermont's true master anglers, and together we'll discover some fishing techniques and explore the many species that this great state has to offer. So today we're heading up to the Comerford Dam on the Connecticut River and we're going to be targeting fall fish with the Vermont fish and wildlife biologist Judd Kretzer. Judd tells me that these fish have just finished spawning so they're going to be hanging out in areas that are rock bottom and around three to five feet deep. I'm pretty excited about this episode because fall fish are one of those fish that most people don't go out and intentionally target. Usually fall fish are caught when you're out fishing for trout or smallmouth bass so it'll be interesting to target those fish and then accidentally possibly catch some of the other species as a byproduct. We're uh, fishing for fall fish on a stretch of the Connecticut River that's between the Comerford Dam and the McIndoo's Dam. If you want to find fall fish, there's plenty of opportunities all across the state of Vermont. So first thing to do would be to find a large river. Um, and you know, some examples would be the Connecticut, which we're on today, uh, the Winooski, uh, parts of the Lamoille, I believe have them. Otter Creek has a lot of them. Um, but you want something, a river that gets kind of warm. And uh, you'll look for them on those rivers in places where there's some slower current uh, possibly an eddy, uh, but uh, usually you will not find them in the fastest current. And they like cover, you might find them around where there's uh, a wood uh, or a tree that has fallen in or around some big rocks. You can really use a lot of different techniques to catch them. People have caught them fly fishing, they cooperate pretty well for that. Uh, today we were using small, shiny lures, spoons and spinners, and they're a great choice. You can catch them on jigs, uh, you can catch them on live bait, on worms. You usually don't want a super large lure because uh, you know, even a big one up to 18 inches, they don't have a really big mouth on them. You know, if you're using a spoon that's maybe two inches tops is, is probably about the right size. And yeah, we're just mostly did a mixture of fishing from the canoe as we drifted. We did a little bit of anchoring. We got out and waited a little bit. Um, and yeah, we just kind of had to find them. It seems like they just, the fall fish, not too long ago got done spawning. And so it took us, I guess, I guess it took a little time to find them, but when we, once we found where the, the nests were, where they had been spawning, we found those fish often fairly close by in um, either eddies or at least slow water near shore. The fall fish is in the minnow family, so that includes all the dace and shiners and carp, actually includes carp, but fall fish are the largest member of the minnow family that is native to Vermont. We have carp here, but they're not native. Oh, I got one. Got color, whatever it is. Big, big one. Oh, nice one. Oh man, don't come off. Oh yes. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's a gnarly male. They can get you know, a state record. I believe was 19 inches, or actually maybe a little bit bigger than that. Um, so they're. Uh, it's a. A big fish that, uh, and they're aggressive, they're usually easy to catch, uh, they're a fun battle. They live mostly in larger rivers, they eat mostly insects and crayfish, but they will eat small fish as well, which can be a challenge for them because they're a fish that does not have any teeth on their lips like uh, bass and trout do. Uh, fish, that, uh, fish that are better at eating other fish tend to have teeth that they can grab onto their prey with. Fall fish don't have that, which maybe is why they're so aggressive because they, uh, if they're going to get something, they have to keep trying to, to get it because they don't have teeth to hold on to it. 
They're like little sharks. <laughs> they spawn in the spring, somewhere in May, most of the time probably. And one of the most interesting things about fall fish is that it, the, the males, well, they get, they get colorful in the spring when they're spawning and they develop these little bumps. A lot of people call them horns. Um, the technical term is nuptial tubercles. They also have a really interesting behavior related to spawning. They actually will pick up stones up to maybe an inch and a half, maybe even a little bit bigger, and they'll make a pile. We saw some today that were probably five feet in diameter and probably two feet tall off the bottom. Really impressive. And what they're doing with their colors and with their pile, they're trying to impress females. And what they want is to have a female come, the, the female lays the eggs, the male releases the milt, and they, that fertilizes the eggs and the eggs, they're doing this on the upstream side of that pile so that the eggs will wash into that pile of stones. And so that's a safe place for those eggs to incubate because they can get into the little spaces between the stones and water's moving through, bringing in oxygen, taking away uh, carbon dioxide and waste. And so that's where those those eggs will develop and hatch. That also creates places for other minnow species to spawn as well. Fall fish are definitely one of the underappreciated, underutilized fish that we have in Vermont. Um, yeah, a lot of people might consider them to be trash fish, maybe because they're a minnow, but I mean, really, as far as a battle, they, um, they're a, a fun fish to catch. They're easy to catch because they're aggressive. We were here in the middle of a bright, sunshiny day when other species might be, you know, hiding or just not very active. And these fish were still cooperating and still giving us a really good time of fishing out here. And on top of that, they're actually, they're actually pretty tasty if you prepare prepare them properly. The meat is very mild um, and the, I mean the only problem is that it's very bony so if, but if you use the right techniques you can get a really good meal out of a fall fish. The, the two main techniques that I like to use is you just fillet them like you would any fish and remove the skin and then you can either run that fillet through a meat grinder which will chop the meat and the bones up into small enough pieces that you won't notice it when you say make patties out of those and fry them um, or you can pickle them and uh, the vinegar the acid uh, in the vinegar actually dissolves the bones so you won't notice notice the bones at all there we go that's a nice one that's a bass? Oh yeah. Look, do you see the other ones that came with it? No. Good sized bass. Little byproduct of the trip there, not the target, but appreciated nonetheless. Thanks for watching this episode of Vermont Master Anglers. For more content, visit our Facebook page at Vermont Master Anglers. If you're watching us on YouTube, please like and subscribe.